Danish, welcome. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, my speech today is about map projections. It has been a very long time from the last time I talked about mapping. The last time I talked about was the various representations of the Earth's surface. However, in this speech, I want all of you to assume Earth is as, as a sphere. Map projection is a systematic representation of the Earth's surface, that's a tree surface, onto a 2D surface, such as a map. It involves two-step processes. First, it reduces the huge Earth onto a small reference globe. This reference globe retains all the spherical properties with the scale of the desired map. And from this reference globe, you flatten it to a map. In this speech, I will discuss three developable surfaces, that, namely cylindrical, conical, a plane projections and the associated properties. Let's start with the cylindrical projection. A cylindrical projection is a projection in which the map is projected onto a cylinder. Let me demonstrate this to you. Here is a cylinder, reference globe. The basic cylindrical, cylindrical projection, put the globe inside the cylinder. There's three ways. I can tilt this surface called the cylinder, a cone or the plane. Normal aspect means the axis of cylinder correspond to the pole. Transverse, 90 degrees to the normal and oblique between 0 to 90. Let's say we take a normal aspect projection. What is the likely map would look like? It would be a rectangular grid of latitudes and longitude intersecting at 90 degrees. Map projections also preserve one of these four properties of a map. Conformality, equal area, equidistance, and direction. Let's talk about conformality. Conformality preserves the relation of angles on the map. What do I mean that? I meant that you can measure angles with confidence on the map. Let me give you an example of cylindrical conformal projection. This is an example of it. This is a Mercator projection devised in 1569, the most famous map projection. It was devised to solve one of the greatest navigation problems, and it can show the line of the constant bearing, the line of constant angle, as straight lines. Very handy for navigation, but never use it for simple world maps. As you can see, the distortion increases towards the poles. That's cylindrical projections. Now, let's go to conical projections. A conical projection is a projection in which the map is projected onto a cone. This is a small cone, reference globe, basic of a conical projection. As you can see, this projection is strictly to be used for mid-latitude area, for example, Australia or the United States. Looking at, again to this, it's very rare to see a transverse or oblique conical projection. There are two types of conical projections. One or two standard parallels. What do I mean standard parallel? Standard parallel is the line of intersection between the reference globe and the surface, like a cone. At this standard parallel, distortion is near to zero. Another property of map projection is equivalence or equal area. An equal area projection maintains the right relation of areas on the map corresponding to the Earth's surface. What do I mean that? I meant that you can measure areas on the map with confidence. Let me give you an example of conical equal area projection. This is an Albus conical equal area projection with two standard parallels. The purpose of two standard parallels is to minimize distortion. This is the map of the United States with all the political boundaries. 
since this is an equal area projection, it is good for students, geographers, public like you and me to see this map. Back to my point, this is because it's an equal area projection. Plus, it's a conical projection at the right place. This is a conical projection. Finally, is a plane or the azimuthal projection. This projection occurs when the map is projected onto a plane. This is a plane. It happens to be shaped like a circle. Plane projection works like this. It touches the reference slope at one point only. The other name of a plane projection is azimuthal projection. What is the likely map output of this projection? It will be a series of concentric circles with the distortion increases symmetrically. I'll discuss the two remaining properties of map projection, equidistance and direction. An equidistance projection is a projection in which it retains the right measurement of distance from one point to the whole world or the right measurement distances connecting two points on the map. Let me give you an example. This is an azimuthal equidistance map centered on Melbourne. You can measure distances from Melbourne across the world. However, you can't measure distances from Sydney to London. Each red ring represents 5,000 kilometers. I will pass this map around for viewing purpose. The final property of a map projection could be is preservation of direction. You can measure directions on these maps with great confidence. Let me give you a final example. This is a mnemonic map projection. A mnemonic map projection is both a plane and a directional projection. You can measure the shortest distances, the great circles, as straight lines. Good for navigation. Having look at looking it again, it distorts everything. Not good for simple world maps. In conclusion, I've discussed the three surfaces, cylindrical, conical, and plane projections. There's three ways to tilt the surface, normal, transverse, and oblique. And the four properties of map projection, conformal, equal area, equal distance, and direction. For the next time you choose a map, please choose the right projection for the right reason. For there is no such thing as good or bad projection. However, there is good or poor choices for map projection. Mr. Toastmaster. Master.